I'm hatless. I'm hatless. <laughs> Victoria. Hatless. I'm hatless. <laughs> Hey, yes. Victoria. Yes. Welcome to another exciting episode of Feel It Feel Real Fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be clever. It didn't work out. For we, on 10th of March, 2023. That's the rightness. 10323. It's not that amazing. All right. So. Yes. So. Um, and it's your manifesting questions answered live. That's right. Because so dead sucks. It does. Go mm. to easymanifestingmethods.com. That's right. Go there, do that. Get them seven little videos and apply them wildly, Joe Weldon. And Alessandra. And Alessandra. <laughs> uh, join an anti day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. Coral, how many times is it now? Are you on number eight? Ooh, uh, and Talia just started up again. All right. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Um, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. Oh, yes, do that, Lisa and LaRock. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Alice, you are here. Oh, hello, Alice. Mm hmm. Alexandra. Uh, Alice, Alexandra. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> So, Victoria, yes. today we've got your manifesting questions answered live. We've got two boys on the bed. We do. We've got Brett the plumber working on a hot water heater. Yeah, we do. And, uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's right. Mm hmm So. Yes. Shall we dive in, Victoria? Okay. All right. We We're having fish for lunch, by the way, everyone. Fish and salad. Mm hmm Caesar salad. That's right. So, um, the first question is from Dev. How to manifest money with a deadline? And Dev asks, how do you ma manifest money on time? Cool. I, I don't understand the question because, like, it's it's one of the, on time for what? Right? Do you, on time for lunch, on time for Friday, on time for a bill. My guess is you're worried about consequence, right? There's a really, really cool lecture that we dive into, dreamdrivenday.com. The doors are open. Uh, it's called One Greater Than John. And in the middle of that lecture, one of the things that he mentions is contemplating the consequences of. And we live in a society where everyone's contemplating the consequences of constantly. And so what I invite you to do is to stop imagining the consequences of not having the money by a specific time and start playing with, you know, what are your actual desires? Yeah, deadlines are, will occupy your brain if you don't you know, nail enough desires. This is why we love the whole Joseph Goddard thing. So that's where I'd begin with that. The whole thing about it, yeah. You know, here's the big thing, right? So we all have deadlines, right? For yeah. someone that says you don't, that's bullshit, right? Yeah. Electric bills due on the twenty second. Yeah. You know, Brett the plumber wants money on Monday. You know, yeah. You know, whatever, <laughs> right? Today. <laughs> no, he said he won't starve over the weekend. Oh, so, good. so in case he has to leave while we're all on right. the show, okay. right? Gotcha. So all that <laughs> bullshit. But here's the thing: you're always going to have money. You're always going to have deadlines. The problem is, are they a big deal or not? If you double your income and work half the time, what would imply that you've done that? One of the things would be, oh, I got the electrics bill, right? No big deal. It's a thousand bucks. You pay. You'll be done with it. Versus, mm -hmm. you get the electrics bill. I wonder if they'll take payments. I wonder if I can stretch it up to the last day. I really need that extra four cents of interest. You know, all that bullshit. So, that's rod play. Joseph Goddard to the max dot com comes to mind, by the way. But go check out why. Let's continue, Victoria. <laughs> All right. And stick around. We'll keep answering your questions in other ways for Caroline. And Robin are here as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you, Dev, for your <clears throat> And 20 for your cryptic answer. That's right. All right. The next question is from Ego. Exploring versus playful. And Ego asks, exploring is slower Playful. Right. So Ego put up a question. I couldn't make shit out of it. <laughs> so, so, so it's like, I love Ego. So it's like radio. So I, I sent her a uh, private message thingy doing. I says, what's up? And she basically, from what I can tell, and again, this is my interpretation of her question, yes. right? Because the meaning of the communication is always determined by the listener, True. right? Yeah, true that. It is. That's right. It's not what you say. It's, <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, they hear it's it. how they hear it, right? Yeah. This is really, this is Neville 101. This is why you can't be a victim. Mm -hmm. But this whole thing, so the way I heard Neville's, or uh, Ego's question, is there, she's playing with two states, a playful state and a exploring state. And they both happen with different times or in different speeds. 
And, and I get it because you know, playful tends to be you know, ba ba, you know, bippity boppity boo, right? And I can imagine they go doing that. Yes. Oh, I can imagine her bippity boppity booing all over the place, right? Yeah. yeah. Versus exploring is more of a like you know, smoking a fine whiskey and drinking a good cigar. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. So like that kind of thing. <laughs> See, I wonder if anybody caught that I played there. Oh. Notice how fast I played. No, I uh, you'll, 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 you'll catch it on the reef. Re 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 yeah, you do the edits, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Excellent. So, doobity bop. So, uh, Coral, is that we don't have time. Oh, that's good for now. She'll stick around and I'll keep answering it. Later. Later. By the way, so notice how it comes down with money as well. So, if we go back to the first question, are you, you know, that whole little $7 course on money. It's a really fucking good one, right? The secret of money, uh, the money diamond, right? There's four ways to imagine money, how you make it, how you spend it, how you have it, how you invest it, yeah. right? And if in, and here's the thing. You notice I don't have in there deadlines. How do you, how do you make money? If you doubled your income worked half the time, how would your life be different? How, would you, how do you spend money? If you doubled your income and worked half the time, how would you spend money differently? We can explore this in a lot of ways, but if you don't know all four directions, you're going to find something sneaking in and bushwhacking your ass. So, <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah, we've, I'm playful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us continue. Uh, bushwhack. Bushwhack. A bushwhack playful. <laughs> That's right. Okay. The next question is from Dream Driven Day, Amanda, Financial Security. Boy, we are burning through these questions today. It's going to be a short show. Well, we might be able to pay Brett then before he leaves. All right. Knows? Or I might leave before we pay him. True. <laughs> that might be fun too. <laughs> okay. And Amanda asks, how can I feel financial security with plenty of money for all my desires without getting caught up in the whores, the house? I love it because your first word is how and your last word is how. how. <laughs> yes. And, 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 you know, how now brown cow. Like that's, that's an area where people get stuck a lot, right? How do you do it? Uh, you, you just imagine that what you have is not a problem. Yeah, you know, we've got this thing called a plumber. It's not a problem. Like I, I can seriously remember days where it was like something fucking breaks, and it's like, when can I afford to have somebody show up? Yeah, yeah. Right. I told Victoria, I says I'm going to check tomorrow. And she goes, well, I'll just leave him a text now. All right. So I was just going to double check on the problem tomorrow. All right, Amanda, welcome to the show. Hi. That's Amanda. Oh, is this your She's question, here, Amanda? Right? Cool. <laughs> She's here. How cool. and how? How and yes. how? So, there, so I used to be that guy. Now it's like, yeah, is, yeah. Let's be honest, right? Let's just say it cost Brett one hundred and thirty-five dollars to be here today. Probably be a little more. Cost him. Or cost uh, yeah, us. Yeah, it cost him, right? <laughs> it cost him. Because <laughs> I'd rather, because I'd rather spend the money on whiskey, right? Just to be blunt, yeah. or her. Right, so that's just that's just what I do <laughs> on a date. Right now, here's the thing. Right, it doesn't have to be either or. So if we go back to the initial question way back earlier, right, money is not an either or. Money is simply a, 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 a money is speed. But that's another point. But this whole thing of a financial security, it's just you know. I'll bring it back to the whole thing of like doubt versus desires or deadlines versus desires because they're the same thing, right? To me. This this whole thing of uh, you just put more buns in the oven. It's it's that. Uh, so we're doing Dream Driven Day in April, starting April the tenth. This is a crass commercial, but this is also a lesson. And I told the Dream Driven Day February people, I says, look, I was planning on waiting till one of the J months, All right? Yes. And, and I was. I got other shit on my mind that I want to do, but I find I'm a better fucking human being when I'm leading a, dr a Dream Driven Day group. When we got the three calls in there, when we, when we got all the private Facebook shit going on, when we got the hey, they got two minutes thing going on, I'm a better fucking human being, am I? Do you think yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you sure are? You're you're, you're, a, you're a lot happier when you're doing when you're doing a program, right? <laughs> it's what I do, mm. Dennis. Welcome to the show. And 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 there's the thing because yeah, I give life to what I do. The money is a byproduct because I've built money making systems into it. Because I get, I want to make great money while doing what I love. And, and so whatever you do in life, you know, the whole thing of like, what makes, you know, you get, you give life to that lovely daily experience and you, 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 you put enough buns in the oven that there's no room for deadlines. There's no room for doubt. There's no, no room for those, uh, those financial fantasies of failure, that kind of thing. You just sort of just get in there and like, right, what else can I put in the oven? You know, what, what else do I want today? And I can promise you this, you only have so much time a day to imagine. 
right? And I, and I know some metaphysical asshole's going to counter me on this, but let's just pretend you only have so much time a day to imagine. How much of it are you actively imagining what I desire versus mm -hmm. how much am I passively imagining? Yeah, you know, the, the crap, the problems, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, I'll give you an immensely practical one. I remember waiting for a plumber. I swear to God, I had a plumbing leak. And it's like, well, I can shut this shit down. We don't need an upstairs shower for a couple of weeks. Right? Mm. I remember this. This is back in the old country. Now, let's just turn it off for a couple of weeks. And then I called Mike, the plumber. up. says, Mike, any chance you can come over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I yeah, love you, 20. Cool. Any chance you can take payments? <laughs> yeah. All right? It was a rough fucking time. Yeah. But, see, I've revised all that. That's all done. And now Brett, the plumber's here, and I'm just going, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, I could have bought more whiskey. <laughs> and it's not even that you get it i'm just having fun with it all so i just imagine i, I asked him i said what do we owe you he goes i'm, I'm not going to start over the weekend don't worry about it right, so boom done so that's where i'd play can make it immensely practical little tiny tiny slices coral type that did i say that twice immensely practical because she typed it like before i said it what are you? Are you peeking under the hood? <laughs> it's a scary place in there. A lot of you know what's under this hood. Yeah, there's a reason why I wear a hat. There's a lot of fucking cartoon characters in there. <laughs> I used to live in a little town. We called it Cartoon City. But anyway, let anyway, us continue. Okay. That's right. My ex-wife's ex-boyfriend called it that. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Ex-wife's ex-boyfriend. That's right. Cartoon City. <laughs> okay. The next question is from Linda in Manifesting Mastery. I love Manifesting Mastery. Sometimes. And Linda. Sometimes I settle. Dot, dot, dot. All right. And Linda asks, how to notice when I settle? Because I'm not aware I settled. Because I'm so used to it being that way. I just accept things as they are. I'm going to tell you something. Right, Linda? You get to have a giggle because we have Brett the plumber here. By the way, if you guys need a good plumber, yeah, Brett's Brett. your fucking guy, right? <laughs> Might be a bit expensive, yeah, yeah. the transport. <laughs> exactly. I, he'll bill you for the trip over to your country, right? Yeah. So Brett, Brett the plumber's back there right now, and he's looking at the electrics. And I happen to be pretty good at electrics, and he's, like, putting poison in the thing to kill ants and shit like that. An so there's that. an ant's nest in that damn thing. Mm. And I got to admit, there's a part of me that goes, right, so what size screwdriver is that? And you turn it to the left to loosey, lefty loosey, righty tighty kind of thing. There's a little part of me that wants to know what the fuck is he doing. You get it? See, I don't like that part of me. <laughs> See, that's where I touch him. I don't like that part of me. <laughs> See, th there's a part of me that goes, well, if I could learn this, I don't got to call this fucker out and give him money. Right? It's an old me. Yeah. It wants to settle for... Well, it's only going to take me half an hour. Yeah. You only get, you know, 240 volts if you actually uh, yeah. with a screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> good. I'm pretty good at electrics, right? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? But I can have a giggle when I notice I want to settle for I can do that. Hmm. Right? A long time ago, I changed Victoria's oil in her car once. Right? You remember that? I bought a little oil container yes, container. I do remember that. Right? And I changed the oil. I was so proud of myself. I took her to work. I told her, I got a surprise for you. And she came home and she goes, What's the surprise? It. I did an oil change. And she's like, Why'd you do that? I says, Well, we can save a couple bucks. And I realized that was dumb. Yeah. Right? And then it took me six months to figure out what do you do with the oil? <laughs> Australia is not a friendly country for getting rid of used oh. motor oil. So what do you do? You take it to your mechanic? Hey, yeah. I'm too cheap yeah. to get you to do it, so I yeah. need you so to take my I oil. Take, give you my old oil. Right? <laughs> when you have a sense of humor, and I know you got a sense of humor, when you got a sense of humor and you can have that giggle, then you notice faster and faster. Because if you beat yourself up when you settle, you're going to stop trying to notice if you settle. Ah. Right? It's sort of like that first week of ManifestingMasteryCourse.com where yeah, we right. explore triggers. You have a giggle. That's why we start off the whole thing with the girls giggle. Because if you can have a giggle when you notice that you have a trigger, yeah, that's cool. But if you trigger yourself and then you trigger yourself over being triggered and then you trigger yourself over being triggered again and you just feel like shit because you feel like shit, yeah, yeah, that's right. Then you'll settle for shit. Meanwhile, Brett the plumber's back there spending my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. Excellent. So that was for Linda. Thanks very much for your question, Linda. Hey, there's Bruce. He is fucking my pillow. Well, uh, technically, that's your pillow. I know. I know. <laughs> he loves Mama's pillow. <laughs> he does. <laughs> All right, Colby. Triple D, remarkable. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 
You finished? Yeah, just saying hi to Colby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The next question is from Sachi in Dream Driven Day. That's right. What exactly should I revise? I love this question. Sachi asks, how to do, how to do I revise yesterday? Do I revise each event or just revise the day as being fun and satisfying? I had a magical day all day yesterday. Then one event in the evening got me into a yuck state. Thanks, TTMV. All right. Cool. So we're going to call this the whack-a-mole method. Guacamole? No, the whack-a-mole. Oh, I thought you were trying to say guacamole. No, I say whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole. All right. right. Somebody asked, where the fuck is Dr. Brian? I don't know. You see, I'm having a good show, and then I discover Dr. Brian ain't here. What's he doing? Who's he with? I get jealous. <laughs> well, he might be with Ashley. <laughs> I can still get jealous. Right? Anyway, okay. whack a mole, right? Yes. So, so when so the whole thing with whack a mole is so. Let's say something bothered me yesterday about Victoria, yeah. right? <laughs> and let's so, just pretend. Yeah, let's just pretend, right? <laughs> yes. So, something yesterday about Victoria bothers me now, <laughs> right? So, so, so I better revise that, right? So I go right, cool. And then, I, then I go. You'll be what, revising all day. Then I go. You? What else? What else about Victoria yesterday bothers me today? <laughs> right, by the way, revision of the max dot com. Right, yeah, a really important little seven dollar investment. So, here's the thing. Whatever pops up, I, I revise. Whatever pops up could be good, better, and different. So if there was something bad yesterday, I can revise that. But then something good pops up, like oh, she's so pretty. I can make her twice as pretty and put her in a in a in a fluffier outfit. <laughs> Imagine her in a fluffier outfit, right? <laughs> Ooh, uh, right? And that's where you can have fun because I, I don't like saying revise every event from the, you know, the end of the day, the beginning of the way backwards. Yeah. yeah, you can revise the big thing and the first thing. Again, I get it. All that can be valuable. But yeah, you know, when we talk about the whack a mole method, right? Mm. Whatever whatever mole sticks his head up, you fucking <laughs> whack, whack it, right? <laughs> and a mole good. can be good, bad, or indifferent, yeah, right? right? Like I said, I mean, like you know, she said that one fucking thing yesterday. Well, you wouldn't want to uh, whack the mole, but it's a good thing. Oh yeah, yeah revise it into something great. Oh, I see what you right? mean. Yeah, that revision to the max dot com. You got to do that sometime. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just gave her something to revise while I'm at the pool. <laughs> while she's got her little 20 stabby stabby <laughs> doll out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, I, thought that was, I thought that was pretty good. Yes. Yeah, whack a mole. Whack a mole. All right. So look that at, was for Sachi. Thanks yeah, very much for your You're loving Mama's Sachi. pillow. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the next uh, question is from Robin Neville Goddard and Letting Go. I condense this, Robin. Okay. That's right, because I know you have a short attention span. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just gave Robin something to revise. <laughs> Mr. Twenty congratulated me on my attention span. <laughs> By the way, what? a really cool way to revise is to just shorten the fuck out of your attention span. Because a lot of people, they get stuck on a, on, a, on, a, on a plunk. And for ages, remember them one time. Rightio, that'll keep repeating. Yeah, right? right. On the other hand, if I, you know, like, do you get the attention span I've got? All right. Anyway, Robin asks. I kind of forgot about it. But Dennis still knew I was going to get what I wanted. Yes. That's it. I don't. Oh yeah. Well, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there about a car oh. and stuff, but I just thought it was dumb. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible, right? I really am. I'm horrible, right? So this is really cool. I just wanted to nail the essence of what you got there. So I kind of forgot about it, but I still knew I was going to get what I wanted. That was that. That was your golden point. Somebody else pulled that out as well. That's that's the biggie, right? Because yeah. because it's it's sort of like uh, like I mentioned, uh, if we go to a pizza joint and I order a pizza. I'm not obsessing over whether or not the waiter's going to come over so I can order my pizza. I've already ordered it. And then my mind goes on other things, like checking out Victoria. Right? Woo. And then revising in real time that she's wearing a fluffier suit. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out eating pizza, and she was wearing her super fluffy outfit. And then I can get mad at her because she's wearing her super fluffy outfit in public. Oh, right? Not just for you. No, not just for me, right? right. And then things go pear-shaped. <laughs> but this is what's really, really cool because whenever you get, like, like uh, when I nailed citizenship, it took a couple years. It still happened a couple of years I had a schedule, but I was busy with other things. Manifesting up a puppy, manifesting up, you know, it being super cool. 
you know, stuff like that. You know, business, your programs, podcasting, all that shit. I'm giving, I'm giving light to all this weird ass stuff, all this fun stuff, because it's not because I detach. Here's the biggie. You don't want to detach from your wish. You detach from the old state, the old reactions. So if you're imagining being married, you know, the whole thing is like somebody who's married isn't worried about being the only single one at the party. So, so if you're imagining being married, whether or not you're single dating or whatever at the party doesn't matter because you've nailed the state of being married in consciousness. And you may meet someone at the party that mm -hmm. sees you as somebody that that's, is worth marrying. That, there's another side of the coin right there. So the whole thing of whenever you surrender to the state of a wish fulfilled, it sort of does leave the mind. It's sort of like uh, we've already sorted out lunch. Yep, and it left her mind until now. So, like, yep. it was on her mind before the show because I asked her, <laughs> right? <laughs> you did. And then it leaves her mind until I bring it back up again. Lunch. That's <laughs> that's right. It's all sorted. So, you detach from the old by attaching to the new, and once you attach to the new, it's you don't really obsess about it a whole bunch. I mean, of course, being a citizen was extremely important to me. But like it almost never popped up into consciousness, and it was the furthest thing in my mind. Actually, when I met a girl from South Africa at the river, mm -hmm. I had the puppies at the river, and she said something like, uh, "Are you a citizen?" I said, "It's not. Nah, I can't be. I'm, it's too soon." And she goes, "Yeah, because her timeline was the same as mine. She came over and met a fella. I came over <laughs> and met a girl. Right? Yeah, you know, she got. They got married. We got married. Right? She, she got yeah. citizenship. I'm just waiting another two years." And she goes, "No, no, no. They changed the law. Go do it now. Like, cool." Right? Took everything off the schedule. Tied it up. Mm -hmm. Whack-a-mole. Yeah. Colby says they, use, they call it whack-a-mole due to the original title of beat-a-mole. Sounds like aminal cruelty. All right. Uh -huh. yeah, interesting. <laughs> no whack-a-mole isn't. <laughs> no whack-a-mole isn't. You know, this is that whole thing where everybody's offended about things that don't matter. You know what I mean? Like whenever I talk, whenever I call, yeah, we do uh, dumplings. Dumplings. And I call them Chings. I always love yes. Chings, right? And, and I put up the post. These are a few of our favorite Chings. And people say, what do you mean by Chings? And I say, they're Chinese things. Chinese thing, right? And, and what happens is all my Asian friends love it. They just think I'm a fucking weird-ass crazy guy. Yeah. It's a white woman from Nebraska that gets pissed off and offended that I, oh, you talk an Asian voice. <laughs> Asians don't care. They think I'm funny. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Where the Excuse fuck me. did that come from? I might as well revise that out Excellent. of the show. Excellent. So that, yes, <laughs> that was for <laughs> Robin. Thank you oh, yeah, that much. whole thing of, yeah, it's, it's based on how you hear it. Yeah. That's, that's right. It's not what you say, it's yeah. how you hear not it. Not what you say, how you hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Anyway, these are a few of my favorite chings. We should have chings sometime for lunch. We should. Mm -hmm. I not, them in a while. not today. No. That's right. And the last question today is from Emma via email, repeating cycles and revision. This is why we worked revision the whole way through the yeah, show, good. right? More than once. Mm, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So Emma asks, so the immediate crisis has been resolved. The rent is paid. <laughs> All right. But we still have next to nothing in the bank while we wait for my husband's invoice to be paid. This is the repeating cycle in my life and I'm at a loss. I'm having difficulty understanding everything you share and teach. Cool. I'd revise a couple of those things. So we've got a cool little video. You can find it at feelitrealfun.com. If you can't find it, email me. I'll make sure you get it. And it's called something like the guaranteed win method. Before you open up an email from us, you do your dream driven day lesson, your MM lesson, whatever it is, you imagine already having had gotten gold. So do that right now. Do that right now. Before he continues. Yeah, do that before gold. you watch today's show. Yes. Right? <laughs> By the way, you could imagine right now, you could pause this and imagine, you know, before you watch the show that you already having had got gold and you're running with it and you had a good time. Because some people, they open up every email, every lesson, they go, fuck, I hope this is the one that does it. This guy's so fucking confusing. <laughs> and, and there's the imaginal act right there. Yes. Versus you imagine, I got gold. Me. Mm. Right? I got gold. No matter how confusing that fucker is, I got gold. Right, and then you nail that as your first imaginal experience. So I do that with like the learning from me because I don't spell things out. I invite people to explore. Yeah. Second thing is a repeating cycle in my life, and I'm at a loss. Uh, easy manifesting methods lesson six revision. You, anything that you don't want to settle for, revise it. Like Victoria was nasty yesterday. 
Or was it tasty? Anyway, see, I just revised. <laughs> <That's nasty. laughs> no, you weren't. I'm just like looking around. Right? See, I revised one letter. <laughs> from uh, nasty. Yeah. You're from nasty from to tasty. tasty. <laughs> yeah, from na ta I, I revised Victoria from nasty to tasty. <laughs> By the way, some Neville Goddard coach is going to copy that. They're going to say, it's the revise one letter method. <laughs> right? I made it up. <laughs> right? So yeah. I revised her from nasty to tasty. Right? <laughs> Uh, I can go now. Look, we're down to 10 people. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, apparently this wasn't as tasty as I thought. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Meanwhile. Re revise that stuff that repeats. Because what will happen is you know, you're already imagining the next month will be like this month. And you can't help it. By the way, what time do we eat lunch? Well, normally always about one. About one. Yeah. All right. That's it. Because you're a human being, the human part of you. Amanda is still here. All right. Right. So, so here's the cool thing, right? You, you, the humanity part of you is based on routine. Spring, summer, fall, winter, morning, afternoon, evening, night, eat lunch around one o'clock, mm -hmm. take a nap for, yeah, from like two to three thirty, something like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the human part of you is based on cycles that repeat. The divine part of you is, is, is it's, 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 it's spontaneous. And here's the cool thing. If you don't want shit to repeat, you rewrite it, right? You just, just change that. So, if, so I don't know what part is, is always repeating. Is it that you're waiting for your husband's invoice to be paid? Is it that you don't have money in the bank again? You know, those are two separate things, by the way, I'd revise both. Victoria said, I, I just took 1500 bucks out of the bank and put it in my account. Cool. She's going shopping tomorrow. This is what she does. She said, I'm going to go get milk. I just took 1500 bucks out of the, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was fun. I'm uh, getting a lovely. She's getting more lovely shit. Absolutely. Your shower. Your that's right. Shower. That's right. Cool. All right. I guess Excellent. that's about it. Hope is here. Hello, Hope. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> we were just All talking right. about dumplings. <laughs> oh, Hope's cool. Maybe they called her out. <laughs> you got to listen yeah. to this yeah, guy. Yeah, Hope twenty's being a dick. <laughs> All right. So, hang on. Oh. That was for Emma. Thank you very much for your question, Emma. All right. And what we'd like to know is tell us what was your hashtag strawberry bit. All right. <laughs> Victoria, what was your hashtag strawberry bit? I, uh, oh, hold on. Sizzle just came in. We have wow, to start sizzle. the show You're over. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's. And welcome to another exciting episode of the Feel It Real Fun show. We're going to restart the show now because Sizzle has decided to show up. <laughs> Oh, and Bruce Roop's here too. Roop. Yay! Dumplings. We were talking about dumplings. We were talking we were. about dumplings. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you said it a third time. I, I How could've... much have you drunk today at all? Nothing. Or... No, I was just. Uh, <laughs> I haven't even had my grapefruit juice yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, have to have that. That's right. Okay. Yeah, mine was the revision and how it <laughs> and um, how each one sort of you played into the whole the revision. show. Yes. And um, I said, oh. And actually, that bit where I said, "Well, you don't want to whack the mole that's the good stuff," and right. he said, "Yeah, turn it into great." Yeah. And I forget about that sometimes. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's easy to remember to turn something that's bad into good, like if something. Oh yeah, to absolutely. You. But I forget <laughs> often turning the good into great, and it's fabulous that one. Cool. And I should do revision to the max. I think you said. Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. That right? Yeah, you should order it. I'll make sure it gets <laughs> I'll, into your I'll inbox. Order it. Yeah. <laughs> Pay for it out of my bank. Hey, hey, it? Yeah, well, you got fifteen hundred bucks in there. <laughs> You're right. Unbelievable. What was your? I hashtag? don't ask for much, right? <laughs> what was your hashtag story bit? Uh, I think the whole thing about the whack a mole. The whack a mole. Whack a mole. I, I really, for you guys that haven't done, uh, what do we call it? Revision of the Max. It's that little mini seven dollar pack. Revision of the Max is awesome. Seriously, uh, bad into good, good into great. It covers some shit in there that nobody else is teaching, uh, because it's cool shit. But uh, the big announcement today, Dream Driven Day April is open. Don't wait, right? We're doing some cool shit. I've got some really cool shit going on. And uh, was it Dennis? Somebody just a few seconds ago mentioned the uh, the uh, whack-a-mole whack yeah, part was their favorite. <coughs> oh, <So>. good. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yeah. Cool. Well, it probably sort of was mine too because that's what I questioned about. You don't whack the good moles, but yeah, yeah. whack them all. I whack them all. Yeah. Whack them all. <laughs> whack them all. Yeah, whack them all. Okay. Um, 
so that's your so that's our hashtag strawberry strawberry bits Type you yours in. Type in yours. Go to you, you know what's amazing? What? I'm going to have to revise something because we put this up on the YouTubes and like it'll get like 250 views pretty quick and seven comments. And it's like all these people like so that's if if, if you get 250 views and you get seven comments, that's Sorry, like mate. 243 people that are not bothering to post their strawberry bit. I can mm -hmm. promise the more you post them, the more you find them. Just one of those things. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like when I keep the you know, the more I revise Victoria wearing that fluffy outfit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> the nasty and the tasty. Yeah, yes. That's right. I tell you, now that was my ultimate strawberry bit. <laughs> one letter revision. I revise from <laughs> nasty to tasty. <laughs> All right. Um, meanwhile, I've got to easy manifesting methods com. That's right, Sizzle. Mm -hmm. Join our ninety day adventure. Join your ninety day adventure. I keep. Yeah. Getting them confused now. That's all right. At manifestingmasterycourse.com. Hey, Brian. Welcome to the show. Did, oh, it's the wrong Brian. I was uh, another say. Brian. <laughs> this is cool Brian. Yeah. Um, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. And you guys are going to join us in the Dream Driven Day. So far, we've we got five people that signed up. I have done no emailing or anything on it, right? I just announced it like, like this casually. And... Uh, so we've got four people in that were in the February one. They're that on fire because I'm that on fire. So talking about Coolio, right? So if you haven't done Dream Driven Day in a while, join us again in April. Yeah. And I yeah. uh, do that at dreamdrivenday.com. Cool. And? Um, for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That is the rightness. Beth is one of them. Yes. That's right. And put in a comment when you watch it on the YouTube. Yeah, put in a comment <laughs> while you watch it on the YouTube. So what's that just start telling people to put comments in? Yeah, because uh, people that show up and don't comment. Like Monica commented. Did she? Yeah. Good one, Monica. That's right. She's, she's like you. Is she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bruce. All okay. right. Have a lovely day, everyone. And we'll try and maybe do two shows a week. Next in week. In the next week. Yeah, we've just been busy, busy. <laughs> we've been, yeah. All right. We've loaded with stuff. Oh, Hello, Pamela. Sizzle's having Espagaris. Pamela's here. Hey, watch it from the top. And Sizzle's going to watch it from the top, too, in just a moment. Yeah, you could talk so to you each could, other. So you could all you watch together watch. from the yeah. top. <laughs> That's, That's right, idea. together. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a lovely day. I'm going to go see Brett the Plumber.